What kinds of things are you looking for in terms of leadership with your swimmers? One of my favorite lines that I came back from Stanford with was everyone is more important than anyone. It is a thread that runs through our team. And to, to cultivate that, you know, you mentioned that my, my top tier guys, you know, in, in a dual meet, nobody's going to beat my 49, 400 butterflyer. But in that dual meet, he's going to score six points. He doesn't score bonus points by beating somebody by five additional seconds. He doesn't get 11 points for that five super, super win. So if, if we are going to be successful as a team, it, it's not just those superstars leading the way. It's the, the guys that get you a fifth place finish in each one of your individual events and swings the meet 20 points or 18 points, uh, nine for us, nine against the other team. And, and you know very well what my next quote is going to be. You win the close races, you win the meet. When you explain to your club swimmers that are on your varsity team that, listen, you are extremely valuable, but you might, might not be valuable in your event. You might match up better against somebody in another event and I might give up a first place to, to an athlete on the other team in your event, but we're going to go two, three, five against them. We're going to get an eight, eight split there. And then we're going to score big because you're taking out one of their big guns in another event. So being honest with your athletes about, about what it means to contribute to something greater than yourself, that, that the success of that team is, is going to be much more fun than just you winning every individual event or being the, the, uh, the guy that, that anchors a relay to a win. Hey, that's all great. We need that. You need those guys on your team. But you also need those guys over in lane six, cheering on the worst swimmer on your team. And nothing really makes me more proud to see at, at a competition or in practice when, when the best guys in the pool are, are trying to get the, the, the most out of the underclassmen, the most out of that kid that struggles to get up and down the pool and to convey to a group of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 year old boys that, that you as an 18 year old, your words mean the world to that insecure 14 or 15 year old that is just coming out for the sport for the first time.